Hi guys, my name is Layla Sophia. I am an artist and fine jewelry designer. If you like contemporary fine jewelry, if you like luxury handbags, all things interiors, and I have some fun videos for you. Today, as promised, we're back home. You guys, I did some damage in essence, okay? If you haven't seen, you can watch my very low quality <laughs> video unboxing my first two bags that I got at the Essence sale, she bought a third. Okay, it's a little crazy, and I'm gonna reveal it to you right now. If you guys are new here, thank you so, so much for tuning in. I can't wait to see you in all of my future videos. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Layla Sophia Jewelry. I put out videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, and so I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. So this is, uh, this is absolutely crazy. I bought my fourth the row bag, which I'm very proud of. You guys know how much I love them. So take us in the lead with five in my collection, but uh, the row's catching up slowly and honestly, you know, they'll just maybe be neck and neck, kind of in perpetuity. And so this is my fourth baby. I am going to show you guys because, you know, since we're back in the studio, better quality, better lighting, yada, yada, yada. I'm gonna show you my first two bags after, but first let's get into her. Did you guys guess from the last video any thoughts? It's kind of a pretty, pretty kind of large actually, a little bit of a weird shape, which I'm literally essentially outlining. This is from, I actually saw it in person before I show you. I saw it in person at Bergdorf's like a while ago. I believe this is last season and I kind of fell in love. I think my family was like, nah, you already have something similar. Any hints if that gives you guys any clues? So without further ado, I uh, basically, I went for it. You guys, this is, Look at that! This is the Row Dante Clutch XL in eel skin. Who knew? Very interesting. Another exotic bag. My only two exotic bags are from the Row now. And I'm kind of obsessed. It's like this glossy black. It really looks like this in person. That's not a camera effect. It's very glossy. It's pretty sizable. It's definitely going to fit so, so much. I'm gonna show it to you without the stuffing as well, but right now there's just a little bit of stuffing, so it's pretty kind of flat, actually. And then when you fill up the bag, it'll be pretty slouchy. You can kind of throw it under your shoulder, very Bottega vibes. I'm gonna show you my Bottega pouch in a second. So I wanted to show you guys this first. What do we think? I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of obsessed. I like, when I was there, I knew I was gonna get the Magda Boutrum bag. That was like a no brainer to me. And then I kind of knew I had to get the mini Simone Rocha bag. And this just was here calling my name. And honestly, my mom and I were debating. <laughs> I was debating getting the Lomera croissant bag and I couldn't decide. And for some reason, I'm so not a black bag girl. You guys know, I actually only have one black bag and it is my extraordinarily vintage Celine bag from like the 50s or 60s. It's so different. It's kind of like my rainy day bag. And honestly, I do have it up for sale right now. I'm not sure. I've been going back and forth. But for like a true black bag, this is the one and only in my collection, which is really crazy. And I think something because I wear black, so again, wearing gold today, but because I wear black so much on a daily basis, I think that when I, just me personally, I actually love like Brenda hashtag vibes when you wear all black or all white and that's pretty much it. But on me, like my body type, I don't know, something about like my coloring. When I wear black on black on black on black on black, I look like it's immediately emo versus <laughs> like classy. And so I need to put black with brown or black with beige in order for me to be like chic New York vibes. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I definitely used to lean more of like the New York, but like kind of edgy vibes. And now we're leaning more chic. And for some reason, the gloss, yes, that was a long tangent, I know, but for some reason, the gloss and the exotic kind of details on this made this look really cool against my body. And I'm obsessed, long story short. Let's get into some of the details. So essentially, just like the most basic little zip right here, which is really beautiful. I'll take out some of the stuffing so that you guys can see. And it is what well, game changer for me on getting this bag was that she has a zipper, okay? 
So literally that's kind of life changing. The Bottega pouch, obviously I've kind of like gotten used to them now that I have so many. Ooh, little card. Probably has the original price. And then you can put anything in there. And then she's just a black hole. And the leather on the inside, you guys, the row does not skimp on anything. The leather is so perfect. It's like, it's just indescribable. Please go feel it if you're interested at all. And essentially, you just pop all your things in. It's massive and it's just an easy close. And honestly, I was talking to my amazing sales associate, Sandrine, if you guys are in Essence or if you're in Canada or traveling to Canada, to Montreal at all, go see Sandrine, check her box when you make an in-person appointment. That's such an amazing time with her. Highly, highly, highly recommend. She was saying that like, especially because of the exotic nature of this bag, first of all, like eels, you know, they live in the water. So I don't know if this is treated at all or anything, but I assume that there's some durability to it, I think. Other than something like Python, exotic bags in my brain are like extremely durable. The Row Twin 2 bag that I have that's half ostrich, half lizard, you could run that over with a truck and it would look the exact same. And so I'm very curious to see how eel skin wears. You know, I tried on in January the eel skin. I think it's called the Everett bag. It's just like a tote and then it folds over. So you're supposed to do the same thing and like clasp it. It was the exact same pattern of eel skin, but in gold. And I was like, I was shopping with my friend. She was like, that bag is you. This is amazing. She was too expensive at the time, but you know, it's so gorgeous. That might be like on an actual sale list somewhere. I might have to add that back onto the list because this is so unexpectedly cool. I'm gonna do a quick side by side and then show you my other two bags from Essence. And definitely check out my next video on Wednesday, which is going to be my recommendations as the Essence sale is coming to a close, I assume. You guys, there are some incredible deals. Now let's compare <laughs> the row Dante XL to my Bottega pouch. Okay, here we go. So essentially, that is a pretty big difference. This is the original size Bottega pouch, not the teen. So this is the large, and look at how much larger the Dante pouch is. Like this guy, honestly, you guys, I really was debating selling this. And now I'm like, oh, but they're so different. This is like a big, gigantic pouch. And this is like a little bit thicker, obviously chunkier, but squattier, if that makes sense. This is like elegant, chic meets edgy and super big, just like huge open pouch. I actually, I'm very confused now. I, I might have to keep both of these in my collection. I don't know. I totally love the premise of a one in, one out, but you know, you guys know me, I think, well enough now. I'm such a capsule girl that for me, like, instead of going one in, one out, there have been instances lately where I've sold two bags and gotten one or something, some combination of that. And so I've done so much of the, like, swapping in and out over the last two years. And now I'm like, keep it edited and it doesn't have to necessarily be one in, one out because I don't know what, you guys let me know. I still love this guy, but uh, this is this is my new baby and I'm so excited. Please let me know what you think down below. Now on to what I know you guys wanted to see again. Let's just show it again, okay? Again, my crazy self just went insane. And I got my first Simone Rocha bag from Essence. Quick, quick, quick little story as I get it out and show you. Genuinely, I was like, get the large. What the heck is the small ever going to fit? When I saw the large, I wish I had taken a picture, but I'll show you guys on me again on a plus size body for me personally, my proportions, whatever, everything, the large Simone Rocha egg bag just looked ridiculous. Like it looked cartoonish and I was like, if you're gonna do it, you have to kind of do it for the novelty of it versus for the functionality of it, which I think makes a lot of sense. Because quite frankly, I'm aware, I'm not fitting anything except for maybe a lipstick and a credit card. Thank God for Apple Pay in this, but um, <laughs> you guys, how stinking cute is this? Okay, this is the pearled out Simone Rocha micro egg bag. Highly confusing. 
There's a micro and there's a nano. I thought it was flipped. The nano, let me see if I got this correct. I'll put it down on the screen if I'm totally wrong. But the nano, I thought would be the larger one. I guess micro is bigger than nano. Confusing. The nano is truly like, don't get it unless you just want a piece of jewelry, unless you want it to be like comically small. It's like literally the size of an egg. At least you can put a credit card in this and it literally just snaps open. I still have the little fresh guy in there and it's just so adorable. The top actually does come off, but essentially for now, it just snaps closed. That just scared my dog. And then you kind of either wear it as a wristlet or you can put this on your shoulder or crossbody if you're small enough. It's so cute. I think like function, you know, function goes to the wayside when there's something this adorable. And I know a lot of you guys really liked this bag the most from my first Essence video. I even like the plain ones. I have a lot of them saved on my Pinterest for like vibey mood board situations. And even though I've been saying that my Benedetta Bruzice Ursula bag was like the one evening bag, this is the one party bag, okay? Not that I do any partying literally at all. You know, in the event, she's the one. I am gonna give you guys all of my other picks on my Wednesday video for other Simone Rocher bags because again, these are so, so, so well priced right now. And if you do wanna get the large one, it's not even that much more than the micro. And there's adorable little kind of color combos. I think there's still a pink in this size and I believe there's a plain and I believe there's a green and a pink still left in the large. And one more time, because again, I don't know who I thought I was dropping, you know, some bread at Essence, but uh, I had, this was actually my, like, this was my number one bag. And I am so excited. I'm gonna wear it tomorrow or as soon as it stops raining <laughs> in New York. This is my very first Magda Boutram bag. This is the Magda Boutram Maya bag. You guys, okay. Genuinely, I have been looking at Magda Boutram and I think I talked about her pieces a couple times little dust bag in the past. And honestly, I think she's more so known for her kind of floral evening bags. Those are so, so beautiful. Even there's like a really cool kind of drip down one, but for evening and for function and for everything, I think these are completely, completely underrated. It's giving the row, honestly, you got, I, I said this in the, my first one and this is such a weird comment, but the leather smell, it smells amazing and this leather quality is insane. So if you guys haven't seen, this is the Magda Boutram Maya bag in cream. Look at the details. It's just like, I don't know, it's simple and yet so pretty. It's also one that's just a half moon kind of round at the bottom, flat at the top version of this that I think is perhaps more popular. But for some reason I was like, guys, we're missing out. This is so pretty. I love this shape and I love this shape on my body because I'm so curvy, especially like where my back kind of dips in. It's like hits at the perfect length to sh still show my shape because a lot of shoulder, it sounds so silly, but a lot of shoulder bags make me look larger than I am because they hide like the curvature of <laughs> my lower back, random. We think about these things as women, you know? And this just hits me so perfectly. And you guys, I'm gonna show you how we can like completely upgrade it as well. Make it a party bag, make it a whatever bag. It has this little attachment, this guy, which is absolutely impractical. It has this like little pearly vibe with rhinestones dangling off. And it's so easy. There's an extra little hook right here for it. And then like, is it just me or does this look like so luxurious? It's so pretty. It just kind of like adds a little bit of zhuzh to the bag. And I was worried that the bag was going to look too basic when it wasn't on because I was like, obviously you don't keep it on for the entire time, the dangling rhinestones. But it's also what Magda Boutram is known for. And I wasn't sure if it was gonna just look stupid without it or look so basic. And I completely think that it is so worth it 
to have this on and or off. For some reason, I think underrated. I think it could be, it's, it's worth it because especially as everybody's kind of discovering the row, ironically, I actually have like not so basic bags from the row. My mom has like the staple essential bags from the row. Mine are more of like the function meets funky. I would say that mine are a little bit more kind of outstanding or basic, but something like the park tote, I don't have something like the 90s bag or something like the half moon bag. And so this is kind of like filling that void without paying the row prices for me. The sale is incredible and it comes in black as well, which my mom was genuinely, genuinely debating, but she has that original row bag of hers in black. It's like essentially the same exact thing. And so it was a very smart thing and she can borrow this any, any time. You guys, that has been my The Row Bag reveal and my whole little Essence haul. Stay tuned for the rest of my picks from Essence that I think you guys should make sure that you do some looking, do some ordering. Before the sale ends, we know the Essence sale is like, it's iconic, okay? And I'm so grateful again to Sandrine, to the Essence team. Not sponsored at all, but I'm just so excited and I highly recommend making an appointment, go shop. My brother had a whole moment. That boy did some damage as well. My mom bought something. It was just like so, so fun. As always, I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Lilith Sophia Jewelry, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye guys.